Welcome Adores, I'm Armin from the POS and IoT Expertise team. In this video, we'll guide you through setting up an Aiden payment terminal with Odoo, covering compatibility, configuration and best practices. Let's take a closer look at what you can expect when using an integrated Aiden payment terminal. So that's what you can expect. First, the payment amount will be automatically sent to the payment terminal. The transaction will be either validated or declined depending on your payment provider's response. Currently, refunds are not integrated, but this functionality might be added in future updates. When selecting a payment terminal, it's important to check the following elements. Does Odoo integrate with the payment provider? You can check uh, this information by going on our online documentation. If the payment provider isn't listed, it means we don't have an integration for that provider. Let's go ahead and take a look to our online documentation. So here I'm on the payment terminal section and you can see the different payment providers we have an integration with. The country is also very important. So some countries are only available in specific ones. Then the model of the terminal is also important, so you need to check if Odoo has a compatibility with a specific payment terminal for that payment provider. And then, is the use of an IoT box required for the integration? If so, please note that you need one IoT box per payment terminal, as the communication process is quite complex and requires an exclusive path. The IoT can either be physical or virtual, we also call it the Windows IoT. Now, lastly, the version of Voodoo is also important. Ensure that the payment provider integration is supported in your version. You can verify this directly in your database by reviewing the POS settings. Let's go ahead and take a look. So here I'm going to jump into the configuration of my point of sale in the settings. And if you scroll down, you will see we have the payment terminal section here where you can verify if the payment provider is compatible in your version. Aiden provides global coverage. Be sure to check our online documentation to confirm support in your country. Several terminal models are compatible with Aiden. You'll find the full list in the documentation. Since Aiden uses an API-based integration, no IoT box is required. Let's go ahead and take a look at the configurations. Now start by creating your Aiden account on Aiden's website. I'm actually logged in on our Aiden test environment, so let's go ahead and take a look. Now, the first thing to do would be to uh, go to the Odoo database and you need to add the ADN module. So let's go ahead in our post configuration. Now, if you scroll down, you have the payment terminal section. So here you need to check ADN's module. Good. Once that's done, we can actually go ahead and create our payment method. So I'm going back in the configuration, payment method, and I have created here a payment method named Adian. Make sure to link the bank journal. And now that you have selected the Adian module, you can select terminal and integrate with Adian. Of course, you will need to enter the Adian's API keys and the Adian terminal identifier. So for that, we need to jump in Adian's platform. Good, now that we're on Adian's platform, let's go ahead and jump in the developer uh, section. Let's go to API credentials and here we'll create new credentials. So let's go ahead and do that. But of course, if you have old credentials, you can reuse them. So here I'm just going to give a name and let's go ahead and create them. So here we have our credentials. If you scroll down, we have the API key that you can generate. Make sure to copy that to your clipboard and don't forget to save, that's very important. Good, so now we have our API credentials. Let's go back in the database and paste our API keys. So the next step would be to go ahead and take our ADN terminal identifier. Let's jump back into ADN's platform and now you can jump to the in-person payment section. There you can jump to terminals and of course look for your terminal so here, that's the one. So here at the top, you will get the uh, terminal identifier. So you can copy that and jump back to the database and paste it here as well. So the last step would be to uh, set up our event URL. So you can copy here the link of our database, jump back into Adian's platform. And here you have the integration section. 
make sure to be able to edit. And here we can change our event URL. So let's go ahead and edit and of course save the changes. Now ADN has a test mode, so we're definitely going to use that one. Now that our payment method has been created, we need to make sure to add it in our point of sale. So let's go ahead and go to configuration, settings, select the right shop and add the ADN payment method. Go ahead and save. And we're going to jump in our point of sale. So let's test the flow now. We have a client coming in and he's ready to check out. He's adding a product in the cart. Let's go to the payment screen. And here, of course, you need to select ADN. So when you hit on ADN, the payment is going to be sent automatically to the payment terminal. The customer taps their card or mobile e-wallet and then the payment is validated. The sale is recorded in Odoo instantly and as you can see, it's fast, secure and fully integrated. No switching screens or manually entering amounts. This is what modern retail should feel like. Good, that's all for setting up our ADN payment terminal with Odoo. By following these steps, you'll have a seamless integration with Odoo and your payment provider. If you run into any issues, check the online documentation or reach your support. Thanks for watching.